it's Sean from NTI Online, and today's topic is cascading our new Series 2 boilers. Today I'm going to be doing a couple of TRXs, but this will pertain to the TRX Series 2 and the FTVN Series 2 appliances. So the first thing that we need to do in this cascade setup is determine which of the boilers is going to be our manager boiler. So I've selected this one. So wake up the screen, tap the escape key a couple of times. We'll hit menu. And where we're gonna go using the rotary dial is the tech menu. So we scroll down to tech menu, hit enter, and then select cascade setup. So what we wanna do here is establish the boiler address. So, so you'll notice the choices here. We have unconfigured, single boiler, manager, follower one, follower two, and so forth. In this case, because this is gonna be our manager boiler, scroll down to manager and hit enter. The appliance is gonna apply those settings and restart. And we've selected the second boiler to be our follower. We use the same thing wake up the screen, go into our menu, select tech menu, cascade setup, set the boiler address, and in this case, it'll be follower one. And the appliance, of course, writes those settings to the control, and then we'll restart. On the follower boiler, one of the things that we need to do that's very important here is make sure that there's no connections on this rear bus here, including your TT1, your TT2, your outdoor sensor, your tank sensor, any of that. We're not going to be connecting anything except the bus connector between the two boilers. The other thing that's important on your follower boilers, all of them, is that we disconnect the Wi-Fi connection. So we would pull it off this board and just kind of tuck it out of the way here. Next, we need to address some connections inside here in our junction box. Remove the cover. And you're gonna notice some dip switches right here. It's important that these on your follower boiler be moved to the off position. So now that we've established our follower boiler, we've moved our dip switches to the correct position here. We've ensured that there's nothing connected on any of these jumpers here. We'll remove power. Okay, so we're back over on our master boiler now. So we'll drop down our control panel, remove the cover, And on your master boiler is where you wire everything. Your TT from your thermostat or zone controller or what have you. Your system sensor needs to be put in. Your tank sensor if you're configured out to domestic hot water. Your outdoor sensor. TT2 only if you're going to use the second zone capability. And then your E-Bus. We wire in the E-Bus last after we have done all the rest of the wiring here for our various sensors and things here. You leave the Wi-Fi connected, only the master boiler has Wi-Fi connection. The dip switches on the master boiler inside the junction box are left in place. So now I'm going to wire in our E-Bus wiring just so we have that ready. You'll notice in the back of the P-connectors from our Cascade kit, 
You'll notice that there's polarity markings on this. It's important that that be observed and be the same on both. In this case, I'm going to use my red wire as positive and my black wire as negative, and I'm going to wire these together now to make our cable. Alright, back on the master boiler again. We're now going to power off the master boiler. And we're going to connect the system sensor. So your system sensor is mandatory, as we've mentioned before. It is included in the Cascade kit, and it is fitted to your supply pipe. We connect it to the system outlet on the main board. And we also want to now consider our tank sensor. The tank sensor can be used for either a 10K sensor or an aquastat. In a cascade, the only time that you would connect a tank sensor to the follower boiler would be if you're serving an upstream tank. Otherwise, it'll, everything will connect to the master. Now, we're going to connect our e-bus together. It's connected to the bus connection on both appliances. Okay, so now that we've established the interconnection between the two appliances, we've put a, installed our system sensor. Our TT1 connection will be connected eventually to his own controller, T-STAT, what have you. But now we're going to power up both appliances. Turn on our master. Turn on our follower. And we'll wait for them to establish the cascade. So now that we have our interconnect established and we've powered on both appliances, they'll reboot and initialize, doing device discovery. This may take several minutes. Be patient. And that's how you cascade our Series 2 appliances. If you run into any problems, give us a call 1 800 688 2575, option 1 for tech support, and any member of the team would be happy to help.